Hamburgers. We're cooking uh, hamburgers and hot dogs. It's what's for dinner this holiday weekend, but as more people light up the grills. Facial damage, singed hair, eyelids. Burn marks everywhere. It's what firefighter Paul Rent says can happen when a fun day barbecuing quickly turns into an emergency situation. That's exactly what happened six years ago at Salters Cove when someone grilling under a balcony started a fire that spread to three other homes. So no grilling over over any under any overhangs. Whether you're team charcoal or you prefer gas grills, firefighters say they both have their own inherent risks. At least with gas, you can. it's easier to cut off because you can just turn your gas off mm -hmm. uh, with your charcoal. Obviously, your coals are going to stay hot longer. Um, so if you dispose of them, if they're not all the way out, you could start a secondary fire that way. It's important to remember these safety tips. First, make sure your grill's clean before you start to use it so you don't have an excess of grease buildup um, that would cause uh, any kind of fire to flame up on you. He says that could easily cause the siding of your home to melt or catch on fire. That's why firefighters recommend you stay at least 10 feet from your house when grilling. Second and the most important tip if you're using a gas grill. The biggest one is probably not lifting the lid up when you change out your propane. Um, and you throw that spark to it and it just is a quick flash, but it causes some damage. For hotel guests? You can't barbecue on your balcony. And of course, leave the grilling to the masters. No, I'm not a master <laughs> of the grill. Okay, leave it to the adults. Don't let any children run around your grill um, so they don't get burned. So here's to good food, great fun, and staying safe this holiday weekend. In Horry County, Alex Heaton, ABC 15 News.